This is Jenkins Forge. Now I'm starting to get excited. Look at there, boys and girls. Can you see that? If you've ever wondered what cotton seed looks like, now you know. So the reason it's blue, it won't make blue cotton. Some people think it'll make blue cotton that we use in blue jeans, but that's not the case. It'll make regular old white cotton. It's got seed treatment on it to help it in its early life. It's just like any other little baby. Those first few days are critical. So if it gets put in some cold soil or something like that, has a hard time coming up. The seed treatment helps keep it from getting seedling disease. Helps give it a little vigor coming out of the ground. So now you know we're getting close to planting cotton. See you soon. So, one of my favorite times of planting season. We started planting cotton. I'm making my first couple of rounds. See how pretty everything looks. Just out scratching the seed. I don't know if you can see them. good of a job the precision planting desets are doing. Space them out just like I want them. Got good moisture. I like the depth. if you can hear me today or not with all the wind blowing very windy day here in northwest florida anyway we're beginning to plan our cotton variety trial so drew and tyler have just gotten here and uh we're sucking our old seed out vacuuming all the old seed out of the planter so I'm planting in the field and then we'll put all the varieties i think today we're going to have uh 16 different varieties to plant and then we're going to have a couple of treatment trials with our in treatment that we're going to plan as well. So, what about, we'll have 30 or 35 acres worth of trials here in this field. And we'll watch them all year long. We'll watch anything from emergence to how they react to disease and pests. As well as what we really want to know is how good they're going to yield. So we'll follow them all the way through to yield. And I'll try to make some updates throughout the year. But I feel like this is one of the more important things that we do. Everyone is not fortunate enough to get to do this, but the data that we get from this is just it's incredible. Lots of times we'll do things where we think it's right, we think it looks good, we think it feels good, and it makes you sleep better at nighttime. But at the end of the day, we really don't know we've made ourselves any money or not. By doing this, we can see if what we're doing is working. We can see what the best varieties are to plant on our type of soil here locally, how they react to different stimulus, and, and really, you know, the profit margin in farming is so narrow, it's so tight, that everything that you can do to help yourself, you better do, even if it's pennies. Lots of pennies add up to be lots of dollars. So, I'm always excited when it's time to plant the variety trials. I'll have a little more for you later. Thanks. Here's a wheel. Doing it. Hey, it's like a NASCAR picture. He's doing it, boys and girls. And check out this attire. Look at there. John Brown. I don't care what they look like, they're getting it done. And I'm proud of it.
Good afternoon, everybody. It's Ryan Jenkins again. Maybe you can hear me a little better now, probably out of the wind. But here we are, we're uh, planting our variety trial. I was going to show you some of the stuff in the tractor that we're using today. Busy day today. Got a lot going on. Got uh, got Dad started planting peanuts. I'm going to swap out with him after we get this variety trial planted. Let him plant cotton. I think it's a little easier on him instead of having to load peanuts so often. Got Cole and Chase headed to our field, some of our fields over in Alabama. Going to be getting those ready, laying off rows and still doing a little disc and smoothing out some land from some washes that we've had. But uh, let me flip the camera around here and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so here we are. It's kind of what my view looks like from the tractor. A view from the cab, if you will. Of course, down here is our GPS, our autopilot made by Trimble. There's how we turn our spray on and off. This is our uh, planter monitor. It shows all kinds of information. It keeps up with the acres you planted, how much chemical you're putting out in furrow, how many seed per acre, how many seed per foot, singulation, population, all that fun stuff. You see we've got the lids off the planters while we're doing so much moving the seed around for the different variety trials, but that's what it looks like behind the tractor. It's kind of a dry, dusty, windy day today. We missed our rain that we were supposed to get yesterday. I was really hoping to get about an inch or so and then that would get us get us good to go for about a week here, but we missed it, but we'll make do. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Soon there'll be a video coming up about uh, the peanut plant. See you soon.